Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, another Ameritron AL811H, this one isn't that old, and customer sent it in, I'm going to go through it, ground the grid's a better way, with the gas discharge tubes at the base of the sockets, uh, remove the one off the board, along with the MLV, and uh, the output SO239, has a little grip, but not that great, so I'm going to change both, brand new ones, that's a killer of amplifiers and open on the output so I don't take any chances. Your variable capacitors look okay. So I'm going to go through it. It's getting a brand new set of Pentalab 572B tubes. So I'm going to get to work and I'll see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Okay, so I went to test it and I noticed the 40 meter input SBR was way high. So I went to tune the ferrite within the core here, the form and there's an outer piece and an inner piece there's like a cardboard piece that it it threads on to when you go in and out and that inner piece was spinning with the ferrite so I'm like oh no what do I do so I took a pair of pliers and I carefully pinched the outer one the outer tube and you know made sure it wasn't where the ferrite was and I was able to adjust it towards the panel and I had to read, you know, do this with the amp off, unplugged, adjust it, then put the cover on, try it, and then you now it's now it's good. So, yeah, first time I've seen that. So that was a an issue from the factory. So, okay, seen a bit. Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. Got a brand new set of Pentalab 572s. I am a dealer. And I give all of my customers my dealer price. So I don't make any money to get them cheaper when you send an amp in for repair. Uh, grids are now grounded to the metal. Some of the socket uh, nuts were loose. I see that almost every time. Change the SO239s to high quality Teflon silver plated ones. Let's see. So the ring terminal was like off to the side. And it was actually shorting against... Uh, some of the connections on the under uh, under side of the board, so it would have rendered some of the parasitic, uh, one of the at least one of the parasitic assemblies, uh, out of line, and would have ended up with possible parasitic issues. Did the 10 meter modification, pulled the MOV off the rear board, gas discharge tube off the rear board. I'm going to explain why I've said this before. The reason why I put them at the bottom of, under here at the actual sockets is so if a tube were to flash it's unlikely with 572s but if someone ended up putting 811s in here it'll be protected so uh you know with the with it on the board it's only on one side of the filament and the problem is it'll back feed all the way through uh to the you know through the board and i've seen where that trace is blown open and it's done damage the board so if it happens uh you know it'll end up bringing it to ground you know once they reach 150 volts they short and or conduct and then they you know if it happens you know sometimes they'll short and stay shorted and then you know some other times if it happens it takes like a couple times or whatever so anyway it'll bring it right to ground right at the base of the socket instead of back feeding all the way to the board through the trace so everything else looks good this thing was made in 2000 21 so that's about it if you need an amplifier repaired please feel free to give me a call phone number is 203-892-4111